Oh, testing, testing. Okay, now we are ready to get to the final video of our chapter 10 video series, right? In which this video, we're going to very quickly look at the price elasticity of supply and deal with the very last batch <laughs> of past paper questions. All right, let's get started. Now here, the price elasticity of supply is actually the counterpart of price elasticity of demand. <laughs> so it's actually quite easy to understand here. So sorry, ah. Uh, of supply is the quantity supplied. It measured the responsiveness of quantity supplied to a change in price. Of course, this is something to do with the percentage change or in quantity supplied versus the percentage change in price. Remember the same, <laughs> same as ED, also measured in percentage. Okay, mama. Now. For this uh, particular uh, topic, no need to worry too much about the arc elasticity because it's not going to be it's not going to be much uh, different from the uh, uh, from the normal elasticity. The reason is because supply it goes the same direction, price increase, quantity increase. <laughs> you see, right? Same direction. So there is not much problem of a uh, big uh, uh, the old and new point. 他们可以投美呢,就算不一样呢,都不会赞太远的result,好吗? So this time, no need to bother yourself too much with the arc elasticity of the air of supply, okay? 好吗? Now, what are the factors affecting an uh, 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 elasticity of supply? Now, let's take a look, right? The major factor is what we call a flexibility in, in adjusting. 我们叫做什么呀? 叫做 reserve capacity, okay? 究竟有多少capacity啊? OK, if there are more capacity available, more reserve available. So, what is reserve? Uh? Reserve is you don't use it, you don't use it. So, they are on standby. So, let's say there is a change in situation. If you have more reserve, more standby, then you'll be more able to change your output. Now, therefore, when the reserve increases it means that the es would increase <laughs> because you will be more able to change according to the situation okay if there is more time then of course you uh you, you can adjust more finally entry barrier okay if there is easier entrance my if the entrance is easier, then there will be more people willing to supply, right? We, meaning when the price increase, then there will be more people supply, uh, 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 providing more quantity supply. Mainly, mainly this one, okay? Mainly the first one, you need to remember because in the exam, uh, it appears quite a lot, okay? Now, <coughs> for the graph, now this is interesting because this time is vastly different from ED. Now if you remember, when it comes to ED, we we do not look at the slope, but only look at the portion, whether it's upper portion or lower portion, right? Now for ES is actually the not quite the same, right? It's affected by first the slope. Okay, you know, if it is more vertical, then it is more inelastic. If it is more horizontal, then it is more elastic. Okay, 第二呢? 第二, second factor affecting ES would be the X and the Y intercept. Okay. Now, for your information, the higher x, uh, higher y intercept, I'm so sorry, higher y intercept would make it more elastic, while higher x intercept would make it more inelastic. As to the explanation, uh, I'm not going to bother here, right? Because this is economics lesson, not mathematics lesson. Okay. Now follow me 
to draw several graphs. Let's start with this one. Let's call this A. And let's call this B. Okay, uh, maybe A1 or B1. Okay, how much? Let's compare them first. Let's compare them first. <laughs> compare A1 and B1. We see that the elasticity of supply of A1 is definitely larger than B1 because two reasons. It is more horizontal and it is on Y intercept. Okay, so it's Now let's draw ah, this one. Now let's draw A2, which by the way is parallel to B1. Okay, what about A1 versus A2? A2 is parallel to B1. A1 is still more elastic than A2. Okay, that's not. Now because here they have the same y intercept, but the slope A1 is much more horizontal. Here we have B2, which by the way is parallel to A1. Here, let's compare B1 and B2. We will see that B1 and B2, they have the same x-intercept. But because the slope of B2 is more horizontal, therefore, B2 is more elastic. Okay? Now, we have these several comparisons, but there are two we haven't compared yet. Okay, ah, my, we have two Let's compare... B1 versus A2. Oh my, how do you know? B1, A2, same slope, right? Same vertical slope. But here, which one of them more elastic? A2, because A2 would be on Y intercept. So here, hold up, that you go up, you do it again. A1 versus B2. You see, their slope are the same, but who's more elastic? A1. Because of the y intercept. Right. But there is one last pair, A2 and B2. Right. Now, we'll A2 and B2. A2, you see, y intercept, more elastic, but it is vertical, less elastic. B2 versus A, 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 A2, right? Horizontal, more elastic, but x intercept, less elastic. So this one. We do not know. We don't know the pair. Okay, we don't know the pair. Now, boys, don't worry too much. You, it seems very complicated, but I don't think in DSE exam, they would exam on this one. It's too hard. Okay? Now, you will find out which one. You will find Okay? These three are very likely to be in DSE. In fact, already in DSE for quite a few times. Okay? Okay, it's all done. Perfectly inelastic. The same one we have seen, supply vertical, and here, el perfectly elastic, supply horizontal. Not a thing, right? Now, find the most difficult one. Unitarily elastic supply. Okay. Now, we will keep it. In the summary, ah, sir, what I told you. Remember, we cross out the uh, uh, origin because for unitarily elastic demand, we need to highlight the origin. <laughs> let's call this S1, let's call this S2, and let's call this S3. In fact, all three of them are all unitarily elastic supply because they pass through origin. So you know, yeah. So I get unitarily elastic supply. All you need to do is to pass through origin. Then it must be unitarily elastic supply. Okay, now, now this page may require a little bit of recitation. But once you get it down, then it shouldn't be too difficult. Okay, and that 
will do for elasticity of supply. Now, let's focus our attention on the final two pages of past paper and be completely done with this chapter. Okay, now 1998, okay, it says, when the supply of a commodity increases, I think this one we have already looked at, right? So this one, yeah, uh, uh, several uh, videos ago. Now here, next one. Fearing an outbreak of bird flu, people tend to consume less live poultry but more canned food. Okay, consume less live poultry, so demand of live poultry decreases, but more canned food, demand for canned food increases. Immediately, if these two Elast uh, uh, if these two demand has changed, can we conclude anything about elasticity of demand? No, immediately. <coughs> you will see this one can die. As a result, the price of canned food of a particular brand changed by 50%. Price, 50%. <clears throat> and its quantity transacted from 1,000 to 1,350. So here, quantity, 35%. Quantity percentage lower than price percentage. <clears throat> what do we call this? We call this inelastic, uh, sorry, my demand, supply. So answer would be D, inelastic supply. Okay, done that. No, not uh, the first time you do it quite difficult, but this time not so difficult. <coughs> okay, come on, hold up, hold up. Recently, the stock market in Shanghai has become overheated. Okay, hold up. The selling price of financial magazine, hold up, hold up, hold up, see. Overheated stock market, it means that it is performing good. Right? So, what happens? to financial magazines when stock market is doing good, obviously, demand would increase. <clears throat> okay, well, demand increase, therefore, we do not know anything about elasticity of demand. Now, it says price increased from five to eight, which percentage-wise, 60%. While quantity increased by 10%. <clears throat> what do we call this? We call this inelastic, but again, we don't know anything about demand. So inelastic supply. <clears throat> but let's see which one is correct. First one, law of demand is violated. Is it violated? No. It is only inapplicable because it is not chatteris paribus among other things not being constant demand curve can still be downward of course right the case you demand curve but downward stopping demand is inelastic we do not know supply is inelastic i do chore okay so answer would be b okay now next one here HDTV, you HD So you see, right? Time flies. Back in the days when I had my C exam, we only started talking about HD. Nowadays, we, we talk about 4K, 6K, 8K, etc. Right? Time flies. More people have chosen to buy HD. TV. <coughs> okay, come on. I'll just Demand for HD TV would increase. Hola. Under what condition would the market price remain unchanged? Okay, come on. Let's see. The income of consumer increase. If income increase, demand will further increase. So here, you see. P increase, P increase. 
definitely not the answer. 两个斗星，系嘛？好啦 ，the government grants a cash subsidy to lower groups to buy 一样啫嘛。Demand increases, so not the answer we want. Let's see. The demand is perfectly inelastic. Supply is perfectly elastic. Let's try. 我试晒啦，好嘛 ？C. It says when demand is perfectly inelastic, which would look like this D one, and then we have S. So P one right here. Now it says demand increases to D two. What happens to price? It will increase. So not C. You come D there. Let's try D. If supply is perfectly elastic, so supply here. We have our D one, then we have D two. Now, what happens to the price? You will see it remains unchanged. Therefore, the answer is D. The supply is perfectly elastic. Okay, let's try more fancier 方法冇啦 Okay, when it comes to extreme cases, it actually is easier easier to draw graphs. Okay, 我觉得 graph 容易啲嘅，好唔好啊 ？Okay, now. Final page of our notes, and then we are done with this video. Okay, this series of videos. Okay, 好嘛 Now suppose the more popular with the more popular use of iPod, the price of traditional MP3. 我谂谂先，好啦 ，iPod 同埋 MP3. What are their relationship? Okay, they are what we call substitute relationship. Now, therefore, with more iPods, we know that the demand for MP3 would decrease. 好啦，咁唔使问啊。When demand decreases, do we know anything about E D? Answer is no. Okay, so I'm just gonna be no A to B. Say it all, lah, ma. Here, price forty percent, quantity fifty percent. What do we call this? We call this elastic. I'm on control, lah. Supply. Answer C. OK， 好嘛？第 two thousand ten， 哎呀，我就十條咁啱，係咪啊 ？Suppose an increase in the demand for good Y result in this and this change in price and quantity. Now, which of the following could explain the extent of change in the price and quantity transactor? 好啦，慢慢嚟啊 ！This one increase in demand. It means that do we know anything about elasticity of demand? No. Now let's see price ten percent. Quantity five percent. What do we call this? We call this inelastic supply. Well, now we need to look at what are the reasons for inelastic supply. Let's see. The good is a habit forming good. Make it habit forming. Ah, when it is habit forming, it means that ED will increase. Not the answer we want, since we do not know. Anything about ED? No close substitute. Then ED decreases. Unfortunately, also not the answer we want. Firms producing has excess capacity. Can get up. If we have more capacity, then ES would increase. But this is inelastic, right? So answer will be D. More specialized. Hold on, there are more specialized. So what may see? Ah, if it is more specialized, then it is more. Difficult to find. 难啲去揾嘅咯，难啲去揾嘅。Then is it easy? Easy to adjust? Not easy to adjust. Therefore, it is inelastic supply. 好啦，最后啦。During the last Easter holiday, Easter, which is、uh, exactly what we are having right now, right? The unstable political situation in Thailand caused the price of air ticket. 好，慢慢嚟啦。Political situations unstable. What is it affecting? That gave him affect my computer. It lags. Okay, I lag you. Okay, demand decreases. Therefore, do we know anything about ED? No. 系咪啊？好睇啦。Uh, of Thailand ticket to four. 系咪啊 ？Price fifty percent. Quantity seventy percent. What do we call this? We call this elastic. Elastic 乜嘢啊 ？Supply 咯，系嘛？而家 answer C. 
Okay, and with that said, boys, congratulations. We are done with chapter 10, one of the most difficult chapter in our form for economics. Okay, so after this, uh, this, uh, uh, this chapter, we'll be moving on to chapter 11, which arguably will be more difficult than this one. Okay, and if you remember, I will be leaving the school soon from 29th uh, of April to uh, 16th of May. Okay, so remember to work hard and I will see you after the Easter holiday then. Bye-bye.